I'm David from Levika Photography and today I am doing a microphone lab test and in, really this is more for me but I figured I would record it and then throw it out there because all of the microphones that I have on this table I've got like five or six different labs and two wireless setups these are all of the highest rated cheapest stuff that you can get on Amazon so that's why it's worth looking at so right now you are hearing the audio for my OMD EM1 Mark II. This is just the internal microphone. That way you have a base point to kind of start this out. The first thing we're going to look at is the uh, Comica um, WM100RX. And I've used these in a couple of videos and wirelessly they're fine. Uh, they work like any other wireless lab setup. They have a good range. They've got 44 channels I believe. They've got a high and a low frequency that you can put it on. Uh, they seem to work fine, but I, I think the microphone that came with it kind of sucks. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn these on. These are going to be the base for, for each one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test all the microphones on the Comica setup, and then I'm going to test them on the ECM AW4 setup, and then plugged into the camera, and then I'm going to test them with uh, background noise that way you can kind of get an idea of what each one is like and when I do the final edit in the video I'll string them all together that way you get uh, one microphone and you can hear it on here and then you'll hear it on the uh, Bluetooth setup and then you'll hear it plugged into the camera and then you'll hear it with background noise and then we'll move on to the next microphone I think that'll be the best way to go about this so anyway let me go ahead and get started first up is the WM 100-TX Comica Wireless Lab. Now this is the actual lab that came with the wireless transmitter. So that's going to be our base. So I'm going to set that down. That's what you're hearing right now is the base uh, wireless lab for the Comica um, WM100TX. This is the Comica WM100TX wireless lab microphone by itself without the transmitters plugged into the Sony ECM AW4. All right, this microphone is the uh, Comica uh, WM TX100 microphone that came with the wireless transmitters. I just plugged it directly into the camera to see what it would sound like. Uh, this is the Comica Lab microphone plugged into the Comica um, WM100 TX transmitter with background noise. So I've got an AC unit going, I've got some talk radio going. Uh, so this is what it sounds like with background noise. Alright, next up is the uh, Audio Labs Giant Squid uh, lav mic. And this does come with a phone cover. It's just, I don't know where it is. It's around here somewhere. Anyway, I use this quite a bit when it's actually plugged into the camera. Uh, sometimes I use it plugged into the ECM AW4s. But right now, it's plugged into the Comico wireless transmitter, the FM. This is the Giant Squid Audio Labs microphone plugged into the Sony ECM AW4. This is the setup I've been using forever, and I really think I need to replace this setup because this is the one that has issues. To me, it doesn't sound very clear. Uh, meh. 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 This is the Audio Labs uh, Giant Squid Lav microphone, and this one's got like a six foot cable, so this one can be plugged into the camera directly if you need to be six feet away from it, and it seems to work okay. This is the Audio Labs Giant Squid Lav plugged into the uh, Comica uh, WM100TX transmitter with background noise. Radio on this side and AC on this side. Okay, this weird little lav is the Sony Stereo Lav, and this is a very strange microphone. Uh, it has a left and a right, and you can twist it like this to get it more uh, directional, or you can leave it this way, and it'll pick up ambient sounds around you. All right, this is the Sony Stereo Lav uh, plugged into the ECM AW4, and Right now it's left and right going out this way, so if I twist it, get a more vertical like a regular microphone, I think, I don't know. I've always had issues with this microphone on this setup, so 
That's why I usually don't use it, but I guess I'll find out when I listen to the audio here in a second. All right, so this is the Sony Wireless Lav. This one only has a four foot cable, so it's uh, not the easiest to use plugged directly into the camera. Uh, kind of a hard reach. This is the Sony Lav, and uh, it's plugged into the Kamika transmitter, and right now you're listening to uh, a little bit of radio noise, a little bit of AC noise. We're vertical on the microphone, so left and right is going up and down. Now let me go sideways with it, and this is what it is sideways, so AC on this side, radio on that side. Hello, hello. All right. This particular lav is the uh, Aspen lav, and this thing is minuscule, very tiny head. Um, this is what the Aspen lav sounds like, plugged into the uh, Comica um, WM100TX transmitter. This is the Aspen lav, uh, plugged into the Sony ECM AW4 microphone. I've never really experimented with this, but this is what it sounds like. All right, this is the Aspen, and uh, this has got maybe a five and a half, six foot cable, and the way it plugs in, it looks like it's only uh, recording on the left channel, and I think it's because of the screw in adapter that comes with the Aspen microphone. So anyway, this is the Aspen microphone plugged directly into the camera, six foot cable. This is the Aspen Lab microphone plugged into the uh, Comica uh, WM100TX uh, transmitter, AC on this side, uh, talk radio on this side. So this is what you get with background noise blended into it. All right, this is a new lab I just got, and this is the DG Fan Lab. And the interesting thing about this is it comes with a pile of accessories. So you've got cable connections for both, um, I believe you can plug this into a cell phone uh, and uh, maybe a GoPro and some other stuff. And then in here it has a, a really nice little dead mouse windbreaker for it. This is the DG Fan Lav uh, plugged into the Sony AW4. and. Uh, uh, hopefully it sounds good. I have no idea. This is a brand new mic. This microphone is the DG Fan Lav microphone uh, plugged directly into the camera. So this is what this sounds like. This is the DG Fan Lav plugged into the Comica uh, wireless transmitter with background noise, AC on this side and talk radio on this side. So this is what it sounds like with background noise coming in. Now this is another lab that I just picked up. This is the Power DYS uh, lab, and this one is actually designed for cell phones, but it comes with adapters and extra foam balls. So that I thought was kind of nice, but it does require this uh, TRS TRRS adapter. Uh, so you you need that to be able to plug it into a camera. Uh, otherwise, you can just plug it directly into your cell phone, supposedly. All right, this is the D-Wise uh, lav mic with the crazy adapter plugged into the microphone. And uh, I can see it's recording, so hopefully it sounds good. This is the D-Wise uh, microphone lav. And this was the microphone that needed the adapter to plug in. It's really designed for cell phones, but you can plug it into cameras via an adapter. It also comes with and a six foot extension to add to your already six foot long microphone. So that's kind of cool. So right now this is the Power to Wise uh, microphone lab plugged into the Comica uh, wireless transmitter and AC noise, radio noise. So this is what it sounds like with background noise. I just listened to everything that you guys listened to and I listened to it with both room speakers and headphones. I mean, really good headphones. So this is kind of my conclusion. But really quick, before we do that, let me say something about these. Um, the Comica uh, CVM WM100 uh, TX and RX, the uh, receiver and transmitter. Uh, as a receiver and transmitter, these are actually very good. Battery life is long. They seem to be reliable. 
I did change the channels and I put these on 40 and then put the frequency on low and I thought that actually gave me a little bit better audio quality without any interference pretty much all together. And they say that Wi-Fi can interfere with these but you know the funny thing is uh, I've been using these like my Wi-Fi router is literally right over there. So no issues there. Um, overall these seem to be pretty good. What I don't like about these are the battery doors. Battery doors are terrible. Uh, they just, they're either hard to get out or when you're putting them in, they don't want to latch completely when they go in. So that's the only tricky part to these. The microphone that comes with this is terrible. I mean, garbage. Like literally, I will never use it again. The funny thing though was in my recordings, I was actually kind of surprised that my little crappy Sony Stereo Lab that I've had forever and a day, actually I thought it worked pretty good with the uh, Comica. So I will be using that with the transmitter and receiver. Now as far as the Sony um, ECM AW4 microphone, Bluetooth microphone transmitter and receiver, uh, since I can no longer really use this as a microphone because the clip's busted, um, I've been using the Audio Labs Giant Squid, which is what is I'm talking through right now. By the way, I think this one has the best sound when plugged into a camera overall, just kind of in general because of the deep, rich tones. But uh, when this is on here, uh, one, one thing that I did a little differently this time is I had the mic a lot lower than I normally wear it, and normally I'm hiding it under my shirt. And uh, the audio quality was actually pretty good with the uh, Giant Squid Audio Labs Lav. Like, as long as I hung it lower, it seemed to kind of improve my audio quality. So I got to remember that in the future if I want to keep using that. And the thing is, these are so tiny. That's what makes them cool. But anyway, the stinker of the night was uh, this bugger right here. And this was the uh, Aspen uh, Lav, and I didn't, I didn't like this tiny thing at all. Uh, it seemed to have a lot of interference when the cable moved, and it had some. It sounded like overactive noise reduction uh, when you listen to it with headphones. So that kind of drove me crazy. And then, of course, the uh, the lock on the actual plug is too thick and you know when we plug it into the camera we can only get the left channel so that is definitely a tosser as well um, the uh, DG fan microphone who the hell names these things DG fan I mean really that's a terrible name but it turns out this microphone was actually just pretty good in general it's just kind of a run-of-the-mill um, kind of down the middle of the road it has great length, it's made really well. Uh, the auto quality seems to be good, but not excellent. I was hoping for um, better low tones and kind of, uh, you know, better high tones as well. Um, but I just thought it was, it was good. I mean, it wasn't great, it was just good. It does, however, come with a very cool dead mouse, which is very handy if you're trying to record in the wind. And uh, the adapter set that comes with this uh, is a uh, TRRS uh, cell phone adapter that also gives you headphone capability and then you also get a GoPro plug-in. So that I actually thought was pretty cool and I will be keeping that in the bag as kind of my backup and actually if I ever record audio with my GoPro um, I'll have to try that out because I think that's actually very cool. The winner of the night, however, was another stupid name, the Power DYS microphone. This overall, I thought was just excellent. Everything that I plugged this thing into, it seemed to sound good. Uh, it sounded good on the Comica. Uh, it sounded pretty good on the Sony, but it, it seemed to kind of clip out a lot. And the reason why it was kind of clipping on the Sony is because this thing, I don't know why, but it records loud. I mean like much louder than any of the other microphones, like a good 30 decibels louder. So it's, it's like you have to turn stuff down. And when you turn stuff down, the audio quality really improves a lot. So yeah, I really like this microphone. 
but this does have the funky adapter that you have to use if you're going to plug it into a um, digital camera or something like that because really this is designed for cell phones. So anyway, I will be using this uh, quite a bit and I love the fact that it's got a six foot extension cable uh, to extend your reach even more. So I thought that was very cool. So anyway, I hope you guys like this review. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Definitely leave me a comment on which one that you liked best. And other than that, uh, follow me on Instagram. I may follow you back. And there's still that Patreon thing that I haven't figured out what to do with. So if you have any ideas for that, please let me know. Um, other than that, you guys have a good day. We'll see ya.